planning on buying a house, or even if you're planning an exotic trip to a foreign country, wouldn't it be great if you could quickly and easily get up-to-date information on all of your financial data? For example, what are the mortgage rates at? Um, what, how's your RRSP doing? Well, you can, and with me is Bryce Little, and he's going to explain to us how we can. First of all, Bryce, you are a financial guru, and you're with Standard yeah. Life, right? Yes, I am. <laughs> okay. Um, can you tell me, do you use the internet in your work? I use the internet actually for a variety of reasons. Uh, basically, with my work, I'm looking up uh, a lot of my clients' portfolios. Perhaps it's uh, they've got mutual funds with me, and I'll look up this, the actual unit values of the funds. Uh, sometimes I'll do additional research uh, for specific fund groups or uh, asset classes. But the uh, majority of the time, I just look it up uh, just to increase my knowledge of you know the different areas that are available out on the internet. Mm -hmm. Um, there's there's pages where you can look at, look up stocks. You can look up uh, a grouping of stocks if you want a basket of stocks. If you like, uh, perhaps General Motors, Ballard Power, uh, you know AT and T, Cantel, Microsoft. Basically, you can have a grouping of stocks uh, within a basket. And each day, if you look it up on the internet, it automatically updates the values of those stocks. So you can see how your performance. Uh, of your portfolio is doing. Oh, that's great. Now, I noticed I've been to one of those sites. Now, I, I found it a little bit confusing. Now, the only reason was is because it asked me for a ticket number. What's a ticket number? <laughs> well, a ticket number generally refers to the actual uh, listing on the market. For example, Coca-Cola, which we're all familiar with, yeah. is KO. And so there's, a, there's one site called Stockmaster, stockmaster.com. And on that site, the very first thing you see is a listing for the ticket number. So you just type in KO, um, and automatically it would bring you up the present prices of valuations of Coca-Cola. Uh, if you didn't actually know the ticket number, mm -hmm. there's a spot where you can do a search. So you would type in Coca-Cola, mm -hmm. and there would be a listing of, uh, of Coke-related stocks and you'd find the one that you were looking for. You just saved so me hours it's, of work. It's, it's quite simple, actually. There's, I mean, uh, the same with, with mutual funds. Uh, you can go into a site called Globe Fund, mm -hmm. and in Globe Fund, you basically type in uh, the company, for example, Standard Life or Fidelity or any, one of, any mutual fund company, and right away it'll show you all the different funds listed under that company's name. And it'll show you the valuations, uh, the performance, the past performance in which it's done on the, you know, on a one or ten year basis. Um, let me see, there's, I mean, there's, and in all these uh, actual sites, they have different tools, such as a financial planning tool, so you can put in um, a dollar amount that you want to invest every month. Sure. And from that, uh, you type in a, a rate of return, and let's just say, let's say, pick a day, today you're 30, and you want to retire at age 55. Right. Well, you put in uh, your time period, which is 25 years, and the amount of money you want to put away on a monthly basis, perhaps a hundred dollars a month, or you know, a couple thousand dollars a year. And at that point in time, uh, the machine, machine, <laughs> sure, the internet wizard, <laughs> the calculator within within the site calculates. Okay, using that uh, data, there will be X amount of dollars in the in your portfolio by the time you hit 55. And then from there, you can look at it and say, oh, well, that's not going to be enough money, or oh, that's going to be more than enough money for me to retire on. But that's somewhere where typically you might look. Ask, look to an advisor such as myself and say, given this information, is that going to be enough money for me to retire on? Exactly. I was going to say, is it advisable to do this yourself? Um, well, certainly uh, surfing the internet yeah. and looking at the different sites, absolutely. I mean, you know, on your free time you can do that. But when it comes down to actually making investment decisions, I would, I would actually recommend that you actually go to an advisor and uh, get them to give you some helpful information. And uh, typically, you know, an advisor is going to show you different portfolios that would mix, uh, mix and match to your actual uh, investment knowledge and your risk, uh, risk tolerances. Exactly. Now, what if I wanted to look up a particular mutual fund and I wanted to find out some more information on that? Is that information available through the Internet? Yeah, typically uh, with uh, a mutual fund, if it's a, an actual company that you want to look up, uh, like I was mentioned before, Fidelity Investments, you could just type in Fidelity and from that, there's a search engine, and that will just basically pull up anything that's Fidelity related. And there's a site that says it's Fidelity Canada. And automatically, you'd come to their home page. And from that, there's all sorts of information. Uh, they've got a library where you can look up different, your different mutual funds. 
Uh, you can do research as to which markets they're investing in. Quite often they will show a listing of their top ten holdings. Uh, obviously past performance is listed. A lot of the uh, mutual fund sites out there, they're a little bit biased in the fact that they're trying to sell me something. Where can I go to actually get an unbiased opinion? Well, one of the sites that I commonly recommend to my clients to use is a site called the Fund Library. And the Fund Library basically is uh, offered uh, on the internet. It's free to anybody that wants to use it, and uh, as most sites are. And basically, you can go in there and you can look up any mutual fund you'd like, uh, any different company. You can look at the returns. And uh, one of the things that I find interesting within this site is they have a, an online chat room oh. where you can go in to the chat room and basically you log in there and you, you state your name and then on, on the screen your name comes up and you can see where everybody else, uh, the subjects that they're talking about oh. and then feel free to ask questions that you may have. And about get into the world. dialogue with them. Yeah, you, exactly. You type in your question and uh, somebody somebody out there on the chat room is going to uh, answer your question. Maybe even you. Or even, yeah, that's right. <laughs> you might actually input some information uh, about, you know, if there's a question that's asked, you might be able to answer that as well. So it's quite, quite informative. Oh, that's great. And uh, they're very popular actually. Oh yeah, well chat, uh, chat rooms are used all over the place through the uh, internet. That's right. Yeah, yeah. and yeah. to have one as far as financial matters goes is great. That's right, especially like you say, what, giving an unbiased opinion. And uh, you know, you're getting it from other consumers other like yourself trying to get seek uh, similar answers. Yeah, now the information that you get on the internet, do you find it accurate and reliable? Very accurate. Excellent. Very accurate. Um, any information that you're going to see on there from a mutual fund company mm -hmm. or a stock company, is going to be accurate. It's good, definitely going to be accurate. Uh, most people, you know, if, if there's uh, any fallacies in the information provided, people aren't going to use the site. Right. Right. Exactly. And uh, so I've never actually come any, ever had any problems with actually coming across inaccurate information. Well, that's good to know because I do trust someone like you. I go out there and I'm I don't know is this right or not, but especially if it's right. sponsored because you've right. now got right. a company's actual name on there, right? That's that's exactly right. Uh, now Standard Life I know has a web page. That's right. Yes, uh, yes, we do. Actually, we've got quite a, quite a large uh, website. Because we're a global company, we have uh, different pages for each country we're uh, represented in. And uh, in Canada, for example, you can go into our site and you can look up uh, history of the company. You can uh, mm -hmm. look up uh, our assets. There's a, well, we have a boardroom, and in the boardroom is where you can see our annual report. You can look at the different products oh. that we offer to our clientele. Uh, whether it be life insurance or mutual funds or estate planning, financial planning. And all that information is on the internet? Yeah, we have, uh, there's, there's information that's provided. Uh, they're not going to go into huge detail right. because everybody's questions are different. Mm -hmm. However, you can go in there, you can get a little bit of an idea of, you know, if somebody mentions the term estate planning, well, what is estate planning? Well, you can look in on the site and see a little bit of information and hopefully that answer a few questions or of course they do provide phone numbers uh, for you to call an advisor and uh, get a little additional information if you choose. Exactly. What about uh, life insurance? Do you have any sites that you recommend on life insurance? Yeah, there's a few uh, There's a few sites on the internet. Well, most, most insurance companies are going to have a, have a site on the internet. Right. And quite often, again, they have um, these tools calculators so you can type in information about mm -hmm. yourself you know how much income you have uh, in the event of your death how much income you'd like to leave to your surviving spouse and or children and so basically you can get some of that information there it's very generalized right it's not going to be in, in deep detail but it's handy but it's it handy. is handy yes. and so when you do talk to an advisor you have an idea of the different types of products that are available whether it be term insurance or uh, universal life or any different types of uh, insurance coverages that are available. So you've got you've got some kind of ammunition, let's say, <laughs> when you go in and speak to an advisor. Well, exactly. And I mean, for example, me, I know right now I'm trying to sort out my financial affairs only right, because I'm right. expecting a child. Yes, you've told and me. Exactly. And uh, for me, life insurance is one of the issues, and the other is the RRSPs, and, and we're talking about the education funds. That's right, the RESPs. Yeah. That's right. And because of uh, some recent changes in legislation, uh, some of the companies are now just starting to provide additional information on RESPs. And I think in the next probably three to 12 months, you're going to see a lot more information on RESPs, which of course will be interesting for you. So you Wonderful. can look up there. Wonderful. A couple of quick questions. Do, can you find currency exchange information? 
Yes, yeah, there are sites available. Uh, a lot of your banks will provide that sort of information. Uh, your banks are going to provide currency information. They're going to provide mortgage rates. Um, they might uh, list some of their different products that they have available. Oh, that's handy. Yeah, exactly. Mortgage rates and um, even interest rates. If I want to go get a loan, maybe they Yeah, on, on loans, that's right. On personal loans or perhaps uh, a line of credit. Um, <laughs> even uh, Visa cards. I've seen uh, them listing their Visa card uh, interest rates or just, you know, their terms of their Visa cards. Well, it sure sounds like the Internet has put all this information into one place. That's right. Well, it's, it's, it's certainly made made uh, the consumer's life a lot easier. Rather than making phone calls and going to see all these different individuals, you can actually look up a lot of the information for yourself and um, do a lot of your own planning. Oh, that's wonderful. It's, 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 it sounds great. I'm it's right. amazing, actually. It's amazing how many people are actually starting to get on the Internet. And when they come into my office, they're so much more knowledgeable, which actually makes my job a little easier. Oh, sure thing. Yeah. Well, Bryce, you've certainly made uh, me a little bit more aware, well, a lot more aware of what's going on in the financial world. Thank you very much. And for those of you at home, uh, there's a couple of other sites I'd like to recommend. And one is uh, Pluto.canstock.com, which is a Canadian stock market. And also Money.com. It's got even an Ask Advice column yes, on it. Yeah, that's a good good. good website that one. Yeah, so have fun. <laughs>